Yo, what's up everybody? We are very excited to be bringing you today's vlog in partnership with the Great Journeys of New Zealand, where we're going to experience the epic Transalpine Scenic Rail for the very first time. This is a trip that we've been keen on doing for a while now and we're super thrilled to be able to share this with you all. We're all packed, checked in and ready for a weekend getaway. We're going to be flying from Auckland down to Christchurch, spending a night in the city over there, and then the next morning going on the Transalpine journey from Christchurch right across the South Island over to Greymouth. So come along and enjoy the ride. Too funny? <laughs> yeah, maybe a bit. <laughs> arrived at Christchurch Airport and normally what we'll do is we'll pick up a rental vehicle but because we're going on the train tomorrow what we're doing today is we're going to catch a bus to our accommodation which is something we don't often do in no, New Zealand <laughs> so we're just making our way down to uh, the bus terminal and we're catching number 29 or number 3 and that should get us into town did some forward thinking <laughs> Yen has already made herself at home in the accommodation. Hey bud! Hello. Welcome in! Ready for the room tour? I am! How's everything in here? It is great! We're located... Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> We're staying one night here at Brick Free on Cashel and we've actually stayed here before, ages ago when we last came to Christchurch. So yeah, it's a great little spot, very clean and it's got a baby miniature fridge over here and a little baby ironing board which we never used. No, I lied. We've, We've actually used it in Japan before. Yeah, they do come in handy. They do. And it kind of reminds us of the hotels that you find in Japan. Yeah. Very small but has all the stuff that you need. It's got a TV over there too, little view out that way and the shower and toilet are in here. All nice and clean which is great. Another awesome thing is that it's very conveniently located in the city center and we're very close to Riverside Market and all the restaurants and that sort of thing. Well that sounds good. It sounds like food's very close by. Yeah I think it's about time we go get ourselves some food. Yes. a spot to eat nearby it was only like maybe seven minutes from the accommodation eh? yeah, yeah very nice fast and handy. our food's already arrived and on the menu i saw shanghai scallion noodles which i can rarely ever go past when i see that on a menu so we've got here the beautiful silky looking noodles it certainly looks very good it smells good you can smell that spring onion or scallion as some people call it and they also do milk tea here as well as um, desserts and of course eatery so let's give it a good mix up let's have a try Ooh. so nice and salty which I love <laughs> it's such a great slurpy kind of noodle and it's a very simple dish but very delectable that's good nice and hot too I've got on myself a classic chicken thing but there's an extra twist here there is cheese in this one what? so I have not had that before and it's something that you would find in a lot of street stores when you're over in China and so you don't really see that in New Zealand menus very often that's true go in for a bite it looks very hearty I mean look at that yes. it's stuffed with meat Quite and vegetables all right I see a piece of what looks like bacon as well so I'm gonna make sure that's in my bite too <laughs> mm. Mm. 
Oh. Whoa. Well, <laughs> so many flavors. This is kind of like a Chinese version of a burger. I'm getting a lot of barbecue flavor and I love the hit of the bacon. It's got a nice extra piece of saltiness running through that to add it with the chicken and the vegetables. It's a nice take on a very classic fish because normally I'm used to eating them Beijing style, which is um, more like a vegetarian inside a pancake. Yeah, and they're normally way thinner. So. <laughs> yeah, but this is delicious. Okay, so there is all the cheese right at the bottom. This is why I didn't get it in that first bite. Mm. Mouthy cheese, bacon, chicken. That's the good stuff right there. <laughs> And a delicious thing to wrap it all up. Mm. Hey. <laughs> it was an early morning for Yen and I, and we're super excited about getting on this train. As soon as we got here, we noticed that it's pretty different. It's got massive windows and there's also an open carriage where you're going to be able to look outside later on. Adult fares normally start from $109 but it does change depending on the dates that you come. It's best to check the website which we'll leave down in the description below. today because we managed to get a table one since it's a quieter service with not too many people on board. There are forward facing seats which is for two people that faces the direction of the travel or there's these table ones which are great for like groups because if you want to eat here or play some games that sort of thing during the journey you can do that. And we were just listening to the announcements before and what's another cool thing is that you get these headphones and if you want you can plug it into the sound system on the side of your seats and it's a GPS triggered commentary. It's available in both English and Mandarin too which is very handy. I really like that it's spacious at these table seats here but also the forward facing ones look like they've got a lot of leg room too. There's also some power outlets at your seats in case you need to charge and so far it's relatively pretty smooth ride which I'm really thankful for because I usually get motion sickness. It's also quite quiet too which is nice. just made our way over to the open carriage and this has got to be the best part it is so beautiful up in here you got majestic views over at the river and the mountains and we just passed a whole bunch of farmland as well it is top notch quite cold though in here but it's well worth it for the views i bet we're going to come in here a lot more though we will definitely oh man look at down here look at down here experience quite like this before and now we're about to enter a tunnel <laughs> that was such a unique and awesome experience and if you don't want to brave the cold don't worry you've got these enormous panoramic windows to soak in all the views there's even glass shelves and skylights too so you can really get immersed in it right now though i think we're starting to feel a bit peckish so i think it's time we make our way over to the cafe car yes we made our way over to the cafe carriage it's looking good. I can see a whole bunch of different warm foods in the cabinet over here, including lamb shank. Lamb which I'm shank. pretty damn keen on. It's 9.30am. I mean, it's 9.30am, <laughs> but you know what? When you're on a train and you got lamb shank, you gotta go for it. There's also some pies, and I know that there is a barrister on board, so it's not instant coffee. 
He's over there. <laughs> hey guys. Hi. Time to pick up this. <laughs> Definitely can't go wrong with the lampshade. <laughs> What incredible scenery to be able to eat this lamb shank. This is made fresh daily, then pre-packaged and then heated up as you order it. I can't wait to dig into this lamb shank. I can smell it all right now. So let's dig right in. Still can't believe they're having a lamb shank. So early in the morning, but you know, you should just be able to eat whatever you want, whenever you want, right? Exactly. <laughs> Get some potato on that bite too. Oh man, that looks so good. Let's try to get a zoom of that. Oh. oh man, so much herby flavor along with that gravy, oh, perfectly salted and the lamb shank is so soft and juicy, I'm salivating as I'm <laughs> eating it, that's delicious. The potato was delicious as well, the gravy, the lamb shank, I'm in a happy place. So normally you can eat in the cafe carriage, but because of COVID restrictions, it is closed off at the moment. However, you can always bring the food back to your seat, which is exactly what we've done to enjoy our little snacks. And yeah, Peter is so right. The view is just incredible as it's going past you while you've got your food. I got myself the tandoori chicken wrap and it's already been pre-sliced, so I've got it in half. Let's take a bite. It's a cold wrap and the chicken tastes great. Nice and tender. I also got a little bit of cashew in there. And I can taste some capsicum and mango. It's very fresh. It's a great meal to start the day off with. We've got a five minute quick stop off to stretch our legs here out at the Arthur's Pass train station and it is so nice to be out in the fresh air and enjoying the views. But yeah, this train ride so far has just been incredible. goodness we've just come back from the open carriage again and my hair is all tousled by that wind <laughs> it's really refreshing but it's such a great spot to get unobstructed views of that gorgeous scenery out here I bet it is beautiful any time of year can you imagine it in winter with all the snow yeah I've seen some pictures it looks pretty awesome that would be incredible it's already so beautiful so the Trans Alpine runs currently every Friday Saturday Sunday and Monday and it departs from Christchurch at 8 15 a.m. every day and we will reach Greymouth at about 1 5 p.m. and then we've got this whole afternoon to spend for ourselves we are keeping our fingers crossed because if the weather is good we're going to try and nip out to Hokkaido Gorge, which I think will be just the icing on the cake. So, yeah, see how we go. We have just arrived in Greymouth Station on the west coast of the South Island of New Zealand and what an epic journey that train ride was. It is about 1.05 p.m. which means we're right on time. It normally arrives at 1.05 and then it will wait for a little while until it turn around and then depart again at 2.05 p.m. to head all the way back to Christchurch. So the whole journey is just under five hours which means you could do this entire trip in a single day if you wanted. 
but we are going to be staying overnight here in Greymouth. The weather has held out for us, thank goodness. Yeah, so lucky. And we're at the Eyesight Center as well, which is also in the station, which means we can go pick up our rental car, which Peter organized. Thanks, Kate. Ian and I did a little bit of a pre-planning before we arrived in Greymouth and we've heard transportation is quite difficult. The easiest way to get around Greymouth is by renting a car. FYI, there's no Ubers here, but there are taxis. We dropped off our bags at the place that we'll be staying for the night, which was conveniently only a four minutes drive away. So we've been to the west coast before and seen the Franz Joseph Glacier and Fox Glacier as well as Punakaiki Pancake Rocks and Deniston Mines which is near Westport all of which are incredible but we haven't seen Hokitika Gorge yet and it's about an hour's drive away from Greymouth. The Great Journeys of New Zealand actually have west coast package deals that you can get if you don't like the hassles of planning trips yourselves but we're all good with that and we like to cherry pick so that's why we've got on the rental to get over there to Day. Can't wait, we're going to be arriving in just a couple of minutes. Is it super amazing? We are less than Ooh. four minutes away from the car park and I can see the water. It is a magnificent deep turquoisey blue and it's being fed from a glacier somewhere out there. But one thing that is like bothering me the entire bitten. time, I've got <laughs> sandfly bites yeah. like everywhere on me. Yen luckily had some insect, insect repellent, repellent but they're still going through it. Normally it's me that gets bitten. <laughs> yes. Normally it's you. What's happening today, huh? I don't know. I think it's because I covered up way more, so I came prepared. <laughs> I am super looking forward to going down to that swing bridge because it's only another couple of minutes away. So it's the first of two swing bridges we read. There's another one which is very new and that was only installed, I think it was about one or two years ago. So cannot wait to check that one out as well. Let's head on out. is so gorgeous and beautifully calm except for all these crazy sand flies that are still trying to attack us both now <laughs> <laughs> it's gorgeous with the native bush that's all surrounding so lush and green but i kind of want to make a dash to the other end yeah it is actually crazy it. here look at my hand this they're everywhere oh my <laughs> gosh ah let's go <laughs> Ian and I have made it to the final drawbridge. Yay! It's 90 meters long and it is probably the perfect backdrop for us to wrap up our vlog. Yeah, we're still getting fit in here. <laughs> we've had an amazing time. We've driven across Arthur's Pass before, but it is nowhere near as captivating as the train has been. So I highly recommend that experience. And if you are looking to do it yourself, don't forget to book. We've met a whole bunch of people on the train itself who were mentioning that they've done it before and it's usually super packed. Yeah, so definitely go book it online in advance to avoid disappointment. <laughs> Massive thank you goes out to the great journeys of New Zealand. You guys have been incredible for sponsoring us on this video. Thank you so much. We hope you all enjoyed following along with us on this epic journey. And if you did, please remember to give our video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, leave us a comment and share this video. Super helps us with our channel and spreading the beauty of New Zealand. So we'll catch you when we're back in Auckland. See you next time. We're gonna make a dash for the car. <laughs> <laughs> it is crazy out here. <laughs> go Yin, go, go Yin, go to the car. <laughs>